My name is Nassim Sabs. At first glance, the Sim Agdam's YouTube videos don't seem all that sinister. Her sometimes bizarre antics racking up millions of views. Dressing in costumes, exercising, Go, vegan. promoting veganism, dancing next to photos of fruit and farm animals. But authorities say the 39-year-old stormed into an employee patio at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California, shooting three employees before turning the gun on herself. Upon arrival, officers encountered numerous employees fleeing from the building. Uh, it was very chaotic, as you can imagine. There's a victim at the front of the building. A dramatic scene. This officer snapping up his rifle and bolting out of his vehicle, a YouTube employee using his key to let him into the complex. Agdam, who is of Iranian descent, had multiple YouTube pages despite her apparent success online. In some of her videos, she seemed to lash out at YouTube. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube. People like me are not good for big businesses. Ranting that YouTube had begun to censor her, limiting her viewers and therefore her livelihood, claiming she made only 10 cents for more than 300,000 views. And my old videos that used to get many views, I stopped getting views. Police say it was apparently enough to launch Agdam on a suicide mission. She disappeared from home in San Diego on Saturday, her family issuing a missing persons report. And on the morning of the shooting, police in Mountain View, California, find her sleeping in her car hundreds of miles away from home, but just 30 miles away from YouTube's headquarters. Police called the family, telling them she was fine, but they didn't know she was packing a 9 millimeter gun and a vendetta against YouTube. The family says it warned police about her anger towards the company. Her brother, who spoke to our affiliate on the condition that we disguise his voice and do not show his face, said this. I googled the Mountain View. It was close to the uh, YouTube headquarters. So, and she had a problem with uh, YouTube. So we called that cop again and told him that she might, there's a reason she went all the way from San Diego to that. I, mean, I didn't know she has a gun. There was no information related to the officer whatsoever that uh, there was any indication of violence. Authorities say the shooting seemed to have been planned in advance. The suspect went to a local gun range yesterday, yesterday morning, prior to visiting YouTube. YouTube headquarters turning into a scene of chaos as shots shattered the tranquility of the San Francisco area campus. It was one after another, boom, 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 boom. Many were on lunch break. The first call for help came in at 12.46 p.m. Police now tell us that Agdan made her way into this garage. Apparently, that gate was open. Now, once inside, she was able to make her way inside the actual YouTube campus. And right over there, just beyond that wall with the vines, is that patio where the shooting actually happened. Active shooter at 9 Sherry. I saw her, and it was a woman, and she was firing her gun. Just two minutes later, first responders arrived. So confirming she is the suspect. Confirm that's what we were told. Inside those overturned chairs, amid those red umbrellas, heavily armed teams scouring the area in search of the alleged assailant inside. A flood of YouTube employees streaming out toward safety. Police evacuating hundreds, escorting them out with their hands raised, patting others down. This is crazy. We're on lockdown. Some still clutching tightly to their laptops. Just confirming one shooter still outstanding. One of the witnesses. Uh, they identified that as a female and a, and a white shirt. At first, no one really knew what was going on. And then all of a sudden, we realized that it was gunshots. It's really an unbelievable response time. I mean, two minutes from the word going out, possible shooter, to they're actually on the grounds, which means they had a patrol officer within two blocks or a block. Uh, of the campus. Many in the community jumping in to help. I just gave them water, uh, gave them band-aids, uh, gave them towels to wipe their blood. The one woman, she had the actual bullet stuck on her leather shoe. Travis Ganley and Tim McCarthy were having lunch at Carl's Jr. across the street from YouTube when the shooting started. We looked out the window, we see the whole building, people running down the stairs. Um, we were sitting by one of the side doors, so we opened the door and told people to get in the building. It was kind yeah. of acted out of instinct and uh, tried to do what we can to 
help, you know, just kind of stop the bleeding and wait for paramedics to come and, you know, just try to do what anybody else would do. Of the three people wounded, two have been released from the hospital. The third remains in serious condition. Well, there's absolutely no link or relationship that we've identified between our suspect and anybody who was at the scene at the time of the incident. The fact that the shooter uh, really did not spend a lot of time um, in the incident could indicate she thought through the beginning and the middle, but not how it would end. Today, YouTube issuing a statement saying yesterday's horrific act of violence was deeply shocking and disturbing to our YouTube family. Still, we are uplifted by the heroic acts we witnessed, both from employees and the San Bruno community, especially the first responders. Investigators today continue to comb for evidence at the San Diego home where Agdam was living, including removing a bag of clothing which a neighbor says she had thrown into a dumpster on Monday, saying it appeared that Agdam was throwing away clothes she'd worn in these videos just days before her rampage. Is there any way that this could have been prevented? We have uh, several investigators that are going to be working for a long time in this case. So I think it's a little bit premature to, to jump to the conclusions to, to, to say that anything could have prevented this. Outside the family home today, the shooter's father simply saying he's sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. Also handing out a statement that read, Our family is in absolute shock and can't make sense of what has happened yesterday. Although no words can describe our deep pain for this tragedy, her family would like to express their utmost regret and sorrow for what happened to innocent victims. Today, some YouTube employees return to work, although the company is saying it's encouraging those who've been traumatized to take all the time they need. Your support reminds us that even in the toughest of times, the YouTube community comes together and supports one another. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in San Bruno, California. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.